Well, the report says that the water quality has improved in the Chesapeake. There are still other concerns like the striped bass population, and it stresses that there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. A D plus for the Chesapeake Bay. Not exactly a good grade for one of the most important bodies of water in Maryland, but it's the reality right now, according to a report released Tuesday by the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Chesapeake Bay system is still dangerously out of balance. The nonprofit group releases the state of the bay every two years. The grade remained unchanged from 2018, largely due to ineffective management of the bay's rockfish or striped bass population. The decline in the rockfish score is the largest indicator we the largest drop in an indicator that we've seen uh, in over a decade. Most water quality measures did show improvements though. The foundation was critical of the Trump administration's clean air and clean water regulations, but it's hopeful that the Biden administration will help further their efforts to save the bay. We're optimistic that President elect Biden will take the protection of water quality and human health seriously. Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, and Washington, D.C. all have plans in place to reduce pollution in creeks, rivers, and the bay. Well, they're on track to meet the reduction goals. The nonprofits in New York and Pennsylvania, in particular, must step up. If Pennsylvania does not meet the obligations it's promised to meet by 2025, there is no doubt that the Chesapeake Bay will never be safe. And a lawsuit has been filed to make sure that the EPA holds New York and Pennsylvania accountable. You can find the full report on our website, WJZ.com. We're live at the Canton Waterfront, Stetson Miller for WJZ.